Hey everyone, I uh, just brought the, the guitars into the garage uh, to do some touch-ups. This is the, the uh, uh, Epiphone that I just bought, the Les Paul Special 2, and it cleaned up really nice. I barely had to do anything to it. Um, it just was just really, really filthy and it cleaned up absolutely beautiful. There were some scratches, chips along this edge. And that edge that you'll see if you, you look close you can see them but a couple feet back it looks good like there's nothing there were some scratches on here that I just went over with a bit of polishing compound and you can see it looks really good very nice shape way better shape than I thought it was when I bought it cleaned up the headstock really really nice guitar um, got to replace the string yet and this is the old Academy Les Paul that I bought, or the Academy Strat. Cleaned up the neck really good, and it too was just entirely all around the outside edge. was completely chipped to shit, especially on the bottom here. And I touched that up, filled in the corner. The corner here was really bad too. Again, if I get in really close, you can see it. Um, yeah, you can see where there was nicks there. I didn't bother filling them in, I just filled them in with the... Thing. This spot, uh, where is it? Not even there. Right there, you can see it's a little high. I'm going to sand that and buff that out after. There's Gromit to say hello. Hello, Gromit. Hello, little man. What's up? Is it too hot for you out there? Or you just come say hello? And yeah, this entire bottom was scraped to rat shit. I don't know what... Uh, they just had it standing in a bag of sand or something. It was terrible. So I touched that up. Touched up in here, you can see it again, but I mean, at five feet, you can't see nothing. It looks really good, it cleaned up super nice. Got the whammy bar, I ordered it in, it came in from, on the slow boat from China, took a little over a month here, in China. Um, and it was like five bucks. But it came in and it didn't quite fit, the threads were just slightly too small, so I'm gonna get another one, but until I do, I did the old, Teflon tape. Holy cow, my hands are dirty again. Uh, the old Teflon tape, and that'll hold it for now. No whammy bar on this fixed bridge. But man, did this guitar ever clean up nice. Super happy with it. Beautiful guitar. And another thing I got too in the mail was, well, before I get to that, the thing I used to touch it up was I cleaned it up with some soapy water, microfiber towel acetone to go over where all the chips were to clean out any wax or anything that was in them windex wipes for cleaning it up pledge for when everything was all done to bring the shine out on them and make them smell all full of lemony goodness as b Dog jr would say um, but the thing i used to touch them up was some sally hansen insta dry nail color black this is called this color is called black to black there you go five seven three it's perfect. I did buy some clear coat. The clear coat I bought was L'Oreal nail color. It's just a lacquer clear. Top of the line, 210. I didn't even bother using it. Frankly, the, the black dried glossy enough that I don't know. I don't really need it. Um, suppose if this edge, I might see how this turns out. I might sand that smoother then put a clear over it and sand it and buff it out more, but probably not. I mean, this looks pretty good. I'm pretty content with this thing. Looks really good. Like I said, the headstock cleaned up super nice. Usually this is all beaten to shit too, but it's not at all. Um, it's very nice. The fretboard's really nice. Everything's good. But yeah, so that's what I used. Soapy water, pledge, acetone, Windex wipes, and nail polish. Uh, back to what I was doing. For the pedal board setup, I got this JPO2 power supply from Joyo. Or as I suppose the, the Norwegians call them, Yoyo. I don't know, maybe. Anyway, while it's not a true, even though it says it is an isolated power supply, it's not truly isolated. Um, but it does work. I tried one in the store at the music shop at the local Stan Guitars. And it has, you know, seven outlets that are nine volts up to 100 milliamps, 
This one is, or is it 300 milliamps? And that one's 500 milliamps? I don't know. I'll have to read more. I shouldn't be giving instructions on what it is. And then it has a 12 volt outlet and an 18 volt outlet. Um, it has little LED lights that come on and show you if one of them overloads, it shuts itself off and the light will go out so you know which what's what. Or you can shut the lights off entirely. There's a switch for turning the little LEDs on and off. They glow bright blue. They look kind of cool. There's plenty of videos online about this. Just comes with the adapter. Ten different power cords for it. Run to all your pedals. And I'll probably mount it underneath the pedal board inside. I'll move this out of the way for you. Oh. Yeah, I'll probably put it along the back wall there. Right beside the power bar. And then all the cords will just come out through the, the holes to the various pedals. And yeah, I'll have to do another video when this is all finished to show you guys what how it turned out. There's my ever-present root beer. And yeah, that's it. If you're doing any repairs on a black guitar for touch-ups, I highly recommend this Sally Hansen Insta-Dry Black to Black 573. It dries nice and glossy, dries very quick, and looks marvelous. I'm really impressed how it turned out on the strap. This thing was awful, and it's, it looks much better, much more presentable now. I mean, it's... If you have a, a very expensive rare old guitar or something, I wouldn't go about touching them up this way. But if you just got a, something kicking around that you play and you want it to look half decent, um, I do highly recommend that nail polish trick. Works good. Just make sure you clean out the chips really good with acetone first. In case anybody's been wiping pledge or any kind of wax or polish on them, the paint won't stick. So you want them as clean as possible. And the acetone also kind of softens the edge of where the chip is. So it works good. Anyway, that's it. I'll go out with this and thanks for watching.